What's going on you guys? What's up? Welcome back for another video. I'm so grateful to have you here today. I'm super excited about this one. If you're new or you're passing by, what's good? I'm Jordan. You're tuning into one of my girl boss videos. So today we're going to talk all about personal growth, manifesting our dream life, business growth and business success and tips and tricks I have for you guys to cultivate your dream life. Whether that be growing a side business or an online passion or just growing personally and cultivating a better person, being more happy, more positive, manifesting love and success into your life. These are my absolute favorite videos to film because this is what I'm so passionate about and I'm just always real pumped up and excited to talk about this stuff. So I'm just very happy you're here. Thank you for watching. Today's video, I'm super stoked because it's a collab with my one of my best YouTube friends, Erin Henry. She is incredible. I personally haven't come across many other channels. Like I watch a lot of my YouTube friends and stuff and beauty and like fashion stuff, but there's no real legit like girl boss entrepreneur channels that I follow besides her and maybe one or two others that actually give incredible tips on how to succeed in your personal life and in your business. She makes YouTube videos full-time I believe but also has a business where she helps female entrepreneurs grow up their business and her tips and tricks are incredible they are proven like her channel is all about just giving you guys all this knowledge to live your best life kind of like my girl boss series that's why we relate so well so she's gonna do another video for you guys today I'll link it down below I'll link her full channel her Instagram everything she's another incredible girl boss resource you guys know I love sharing the love and shouting out people who truly deserve it and she's a really hard worker so I'd love if you also checked out her video very excited to be up with her so for this video on my channel I'm gonna talk to you guys about my top 10 tips for success and for business growth and for ultimate happiness this year like I said whether that's personal development or in your business and I've actually gone through you guys know I researched the law of attraction a lot and other people who have been extremely successful young entrepreneurs the top 10 tips that I have found and researched and written down for you guys from other young entrepreneurs who have made over a million dollars before they turn 25 all right so tip number one is to read and educate yourself daily I get questions from you guys all the time about what my favorite books are and my favorite resources to study the law of attraction and manifesting success and abundance and wealth and just your dream life overall. And you guys, I have gotten so much more into reading the past two years ever since I started my social media business and also have been learning a lot about personal growth and development. I am so into reading now. I also love podcasts and Audible and stuff like that, but I personally like to have a physical book, especially if I'm traveling. I wanted to share a few of my favorites with you guys. I have learned so much more than I can even put into words from these four books. These are probably my top four. Um, you guys already know I talk about the secret all the time. If you're struggling with understanding the law of attraction or how to manifest something, this is just number one. There's also a DVD on it, but this breaks it down completely. Um, if you don't know, the law of attraction is just basically that like attracts like and whatever you think and whatever you say out loud, whatever follows I am in your life is what will manifest into your life. It is the number one most powerful law in the universe. And if you utilize it properly, you can manifest anything that you want. Nothing is off limits. Your dream life, partner, car, house, your business, literally anything. Out of all these, that book is life-changing. It's only about 10 bucks. You have to get it. Um, in addition to that, if you are struggling with how other people use the law of attraction and like what success stories they have and how to actually use it, like you read it and you're like, oh, this is great, but how do I utilize it in my own life? This entire book is full of success stories. So people have written in to the author, Rhonda Byrne, and shared how they utilize the secret in their personal life for business growth or finding love or manifesting money. This shows you that it's, it's basically proven like how everyone utilizes it in their own life and it's super inspiring because reading through all the little stories you're like crap well I can do that in my own life it's very inspirational super motivational I love it again a very affordable book um, and then two for manifesting money you are a badass at making money and then also Tony Robbins money master the game seven simple steps to financial freedom this book is also absolutely incredible and helped me last year to almost triple my income through social media and through my business I think these are incredible resources I think you should never stop reading and never stop learning, whether that's from books or other people. Always remain teachable. Never think that you know it all. Once you think you've like attained this certain high level of success, there's always another level up to go. Always surround yourself with people who are more educated than you, who've you know achieved more than you, so you can follow the path of what they're doing. That's actually, um, I wrote down these 10 tips so I wouldn't, so I had them all like specifically out for you, but I believe that leads into the second 
one, which is, yeah, be the least educated person in the room. So you want to surround yourself with friends who are so incredibly successful, who have achieved so much in life, who have a very positive outlook on business and personal growth and just, like I said, manifesting their dream life. And if you are the least educated person in the room, you can always learn something. You can learn from everyone else. You, They say that by looking at you, you can tell what type of person you are by the top five people you surround yourself with and spend the most time with. And I totally believe that. If you're out every weekend at the bars or surrounding yourself, you know, drinking, smoking, people who aren't really going anywhere, who have no desire and no drive in life to go get a better job or provide for their family, those habits are gonna rub off on you. Yet if you surround yourself with people every day who are young entrepreneurs who have a crazy vision for their life, they're going after their dreams, they're successful, that's gonna motivate the crap out of you. I personally love that. I have found so many more incredible friends through social media, like social media is such a blessing to me. I have met some of my best friends and also people too who I've followed for years and years on social media and I've kind of watched their growth and their tips on how they run their business and now I'm friends with them. I personally like to study very closely how other people have been successful in their business and then kind of take that and tweak it a little bit and model it for my own business. Not necessarily like copy someone else's business model. What I'm saying is watch how other people in your field have been successful and then realize how you can maybe take a program like that or tweak something and completely customize it and make it your own. But watch how the people People who are millionaires or who have done incredibly well in the field that you're trying to do, if you're a blogger, if you're a YouTuber, you want to be you know, a full-time social media on Instagram, if you want to do fitness coaching, find someone in that field who is extremely successful at that. Watch what they do. Watch how they engage with their audience. Watch how they promote their programs and their pictures and model that for yourself because it's obviously working for them. You want to take all of the tips and tricks, all the free information that people can provide you through their social media about how they're growing their business. Take that grab a hold of it, study it, learn it, spend all of your time obsessing over how to be successful at it and then implement it yourself into your own business. So the next tip I have is be willing to take risks in your business and be willing to fail. Yes, no one likes that word, no one likes to fail. In my opinion, when you fail at something, even over and over and over again, you're not really failing. All you're doing is learning how something didn't work or how to not do something again. Every single time you fail, it's gonna teach you something. And you have to be willing in your business, especially if it's an online business or you're a young entrepreneur and you wanna grow up you know, your Instagram or YouTube or whatever fitness coaching, whatever business that you have that you would like to make full time, you have to put yourself out there. You have to take risks. You have to maybe start a new challenge or go on Instagram live or go on video. Maybe you're super scared and super shy to go on video, but you feel that your audience would connect with you so much better if they could just put a name to the face and really get in tune with your personality. I know that I connect with people really, really well on video. There's a few Instagram accounts I follow where the girls don't do video, but, and you can just like always read the captions and stuff. And there's definitely informative content just in captions. But for me, I'm a very visual learner. I love seeing people on video. So I just, I truly think that if you want to take your business to the next level, especially these days with social media, you got to pop on Instagram live, maybe do a little YouTube video even just like a one minute video letting people know about a new challenge you started or a new video or a new program or a digital course that you launched even if that's super scary I truly believe that if you step out of your comfort zone and you take the necessary steps of action that the universe will bring you the clients and the income and the money that you deserve when it when the universe and God truly sees that you are working extremely hard to make your passion your paycheck and you're trying to get your mission out to all these people and you do the things that are scary like video or like doing a live public speaking event, something that would normally scare the crap out of you, when you step out of your comfort zone, like greatness is right there waiting for you. You're gonna make more income, attract more clients, attract new friends, by you just getting out of that little bubble and doing the thing that is so scary for you, the universe is gonna reward you with so much success, it's gonna be so much more than worth it. So the next tip is probably one of the, if not the most important, and it's acting as if. And I've talked about this in so many of my Law of Attraction videos. You have to wake up every single day and act as if you have already attained the level of success that you're going for, act as if you've already attained the new house that you wanna buy, the car that you wanna drive, the level of engagement with your audience. If someone asks you, hey, how's business going and you're just starting your business, maybe you only have a few clients, but you truly desire to be thriving and have all this, you know, a huge audience and maximum engagement and reach, you need to tell people what you tell people after I am or my life is going like this is the way that your life is going to manifest. And this is 100% proven. You need to tell people my business is thriving. I'm doing amazing. I'm sharing my passion with the world. 
act as if you already have all the success in the world that you're going for because by you being on that high vibration and acting as if you're already living that dream life and being super successful, it literally tells the universe that you're ready for that amount of success and engagement and reach with your audience. And then you're putting yourself on that vibration to attract all of that into your life and that success will come to you 10 times faster. So for example, a lot of you guys know I'm saving up to purchase my first home this year and every single day I try to act as if I've already attained that home and I already live there. I've been going back to the exact same model home of the exact home I want to purchase and just touring it multiple times, going in there, sitting on the model home couch, acting as if I live there, closing my eyes, feeling grateful for the blessing of a new home, truly feeling like I already live there. You wanna do that as much as possible. Again, so you're on that higher vibration of being so thankful and grateful for the exact goal and desire that you're going after, so then it can make its way to manifest into your life. So again, if you want a certain level of success, a new car, wake up and already be grateful for that thing. Even if you don't physically possess it yet, put that on your gratitude list. Every morning I say thank you God so much, universe, God, whatever higher power you believe in, thank you so much for my new home. It is so safe and secure and beautiful and is such a just nice, gorgeous place and I'm so blessed to have this home to be able to provide for my son that we can live here and that we're safe and comforted every day. Even though I don't actually live in that home yet, it's still on my gratitude list. And by me being thankful for it before it physically manifests into my life is how it's going to manifest physically into my life a lot sooner. So I truly believe that you need to act as if, like I said, you've already attained that level of success, attained that new house, attained that new relationship, be on that high vibration of how you're going to feel once you've already achieved the house. So if you're going after business success or you're trying to manifest a partner or a soulmate or your dream husband, once you've already attained, once you do attain that thing in your life, how are you gonna feel? You're probably gonna feel super happy, excited, fulfilled, motivated, passionate. Start to feel that way now. Do things every single day that put you on that high vibration of feeling that way now. And then once you're already up at that vibration, you're meeting the vibration of the goal that you're trying to attain. So then the universe can get out your way, bring all the correct resources together and bring that into your life so much quicker. So another tip I wanna mention on is that you have to believe in yourself in your work ethic, in your capabilities, in your knowledge. You have to believe in the person that you are and that you possess everything, like I said, already inside of you to achieve this goal that you're going after or to grow your business or to lose weight or buy a new home. Whatever your specific goal or desire is, it's not gonna happen unless you truly believe in your mind and in your gut that you are capable enough to achieve it. And most people think like, duh, why are you even telling me that tip? Of course I gotta believe in myself. But some people really have trouble in their mind with letting go of limiting beliefs and they get very scared and very fearful, again, to maybe leave their nine to five job or to leave a relationship that's toxic or friends or family who don't support you. You guys, there's gonna be so many people along the way that you have to let go and that they just can't see that completed vision and that completed goal far ahead in their mind like you can and you're so focused on your success and growing your business and being a better person, manifesting your dream life for yourself, providing for your family and some people in your life are just gonna be stuck at this level down here and that's okay. I mean, that's, you know, it's their life. You can't make them want a better life for themselves but some people are just okay and content with just barely being, paying the bills or having a relationship that's okay but that's not you. You know in your gut that there is so much more to life that you deserve happiness, you deserve to share your mission and your passion with the world and grow your business and you're going way up here. So you can only take friends with you or family with you who truly believe in you. And I know firsthand it can be very hard to cut out people who are toxic from your life, especially in a relationship setting, but you have to do it or you're not going to grow as a person and it's your life. And it's hard because you know, like if you get in arguments with friends or family or a significant other and that person means a lot to you, you're scared how your life will be without them. But I truly believe that going after your heart's desire and manifesting the life that you deserve and providing for your family should come before any of that. The universe and God will bring you the right resources and the right people and an incredible tribe who's gonna support you. If you are willing to let go of the wrong people, you are opening so many doors to invite the right people into your life. So I encourage you guys to have the confidence and be courageous enough to let those people go and know that so much better is coming. All right, so once again, this video is getting very long. If you can't tell, I could ramble on about the, this topic for so long. Of course, there's so many more than 10 tips that I would like to share with you, but I know it's already getting pretty long. I hope those 
those ones helped you and you guys can implement them into your own life for personal growth and business growth, tag me on Instagram, follow me on my social medias and let me know. I would really appreciate it. I'm just so honored that my videos can be a resource for you guys to help you manifest your dream life and just be more positive and a better person on the daily basis. It's truly like extremely fulfilling to me and I appreciate you being here so much. If you're new or you came from Aaron's channel, please subscribe down below. It's totally free. If you are also into the law of attraction and manifesting business success and personal growth, I do have an ebook that I wrote that's on promo for $5. I would absolutely love your support. The feedback I've got so far has been incredible. I basically just teach you how I manifested my dream life and help you to realize that you are so, so capable of doing that for yourself. I would absolutely love if you guys check that out. I will have it below. All right, so I'm gonna cut it off there because my camera's about to die and I know this video is already pretty long, but if you're new to my channel, I have tons more videos on the law of attraction and just manifesting your dream life in general. I have a whole girl boss series. I would love if you checked out the videos. It would mean a lot to me. I'm very appreciative that you're here and that you guys feel that I have enough value to give you and I can, my channel can just be a resource for you is such an incredible feeling and I just wanna let you know in every video how truly grateful I am. I would love to have you subscribe. Give this video a like. I'll leave my social media down below. Be sure to follow my Instagram if you're into this type of video. I post a lot of inspirational quotes every day and podcasts and stuff that I'm listening to that can also be awesome resources for you guys. So yeah, be sure to subscribe. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Hope you have an incredible week and I will see you on Thursday for another new video. Mwah.